This is our annual United Way Day of Caring. It's the largest one we've had, 1,200 volunteers uh, come out of breakfast. Then they get on their way to do work in the community. About 900 will work specifically on the south side near Salvation Army. We'll be cleaning up neighborhoods, demolition of houses, putting up smoke detectors, lighting some homes for safety. With YNDC, we pick different neighborhoods each year. One year it might be the east side or the west side. We determined this year that over by Salvation Army, there was really some work that needed to be done that we felt we could make the greatest impact. So it's really a collaborative effort to try to pick neighborhoods throughout the city. We have anywhere between five and 10 people each year that come out. Our boss is gracious enough to uh, let us come out here every year, and it, it really is very fulfilling. When you see the impact that it makes having this many people out here for for a day, it's it's huge. There's some you know whether they're elderly people or disabled, they can't really get out here and, and do a lot of the things that we're doing. We come in with 50 people on a site and do it in an hour. It I mean it's it, it makes such a huge impact on the area. When you see the before and you see the after, it makes you feel really good about yourself and and especially as a company to give back. It's it's huge. I can see this going from 1,200 people to 2,000 and, and making it a, a whole community event where you know, not just companies but individuals really come up and, and show up every year and just make it uh, maybe even more days than one, which would be, which would be nice and have a, have a huge impact on everything that's going on here. When you see a neighborhood of five, six blocks before and after, it's, it's amazing. It transforms the neighborhood. And I think that's why we keep getting back the same volunteers and new volunteers. They really believe they're making a difference in the community. I would hope that 25 years from now, we look back and maybe there's 2,500 volunteers and we can show what we can do working together. I think we've done a better job in the city and, and throughout the Mahoning Valley of coming together and not working independently. So I think it just continues to hopefully foster collaboration among partners.